Hey guys, Dotson Guys here with Marine Max in Charleston. Today I have the opportunity of showing you guys a brand new Scout 400 LXF. cockpit, you'll see the spacious layout. Scout's done a phenomenal job of giving an ample amount of cockpit space, whether you're fishing or entertaining. You'll see I'm on the starboard side. We have dual eye wells, both port and starboard of our aft couch here. Uh, it is the aquarium effect. We have transom access doors that conveniently open up both port and starboard. And once again, our, our infamous Scout transom is full access from port to starboard. We have rod racks across the back, as well as uh, courtesy lighting. Moving to our aft seat here, we've got our standard uh, cooler box. We have systems access down below to our sea chest and as well as systems access down to our sea keeper. On the aft leaning post here, you'll see our, our aft facing seat, enough for three comfortably. What's unique about this is you have rod holder cup holders here as well as rod racks above and those are the patented power rod holders, retracting rod holders. But if I walk over here and I take my lounge seat up, it conveniently converts to a summer kitchen with grill, prep sink, as well as cutting board and well as cutlery cabinet down below and easy storage. You'll see it opens up, gives that free board so you can get your foot up, up underneath there. Um, that is a Kenyan electric grill. On our port side here, we have our beach platform. So you'll see this is very unique, similar to the 530 LXF, to where the full hull opens up and then the door lays flat. Alrighty, now that we're at the helm, you'll see we've got the triple helm configured seats, independently controlled bolsters, as well as armrest, both port and starboard. She is a center helm, so great visibility with our full enclosed uh, windshield as well as side vents for airflow. We have a convenient glove box with charging ports. We have triple screens, so this is two 16s on the out exterior and one single 24 on the interior. We have AC at the helm as well as independently heated, uh, heat, uh, heated seats, which are working nicely this morning. We have our vessel view display for Mercury for all of our engine data function. We have our joystick control as well as autopilot incorporated there. She's equipped with the standard zip wake system, so that auto trim tab system, and is of course our digital um, throttle and helm for Mercury Marine. Up top, we have our razor light control, and as well as our Sea Keeper uh, monitoring system. So this boat is equipped with a Sea Keeper. We have redundancy switching up top for those quick buttons like our shades, our windlass, our, our, our quick lights. Of course, a VHF radio, and as well as outriggers, both port and starboard, and those are the carbon fiber, which we'll see shortly. Uh, cup holders community at the dash, as well as tiltable helm, and as well as an Edson steering wheel. And looking at the uh, leaning post here, I'll walk through, you'll see we have on the starboard side, we have our refrigerator, stainless steel refrigerator. And on our port side of the opposite side of the helm, we have our ice maker. We have 110 outlets also here on the starboard side, and as well as independent controls for our patented retracting lo rocket launchers if you need to load those for your rods. We also have access to our hardtop. It's conveniently placed centrally inside the hardtop, so you're not crawling on the exterior of the hardtop in a following sea or a swell. So that aft seat laid down, you have the ladder rack going up with the synthetic steps there, sliding uh, glass that is tinted. That secures and is watertight, but it gives you easy access to your antennas, your nav lights, your outriggers if you need to get to them, um, but a nice touch from scout boats. All right, now that we're in the bow of the boat, We've got to showcase the, the lounge seat from Scout Boats. They do such a unique job with the contouring of the seats, the elegance of the headrest, as well as armrest and cup holders. I'm six foot for reference, but you'll see I'm very comfortable. Comfortable for two. Nice, secure bolsters to tuck you in there. I wanna point out the interior as well. So this is a, um, a Sunbrella insert and as well as an ultra vinyl exterior and kind of that ivory and that tan. Uh, very unique color from Scout. We did specially on this boat. Um, so it's not something you'll see everywhere um, as well as with the, uh, the ivory stitching. Up to the top of the hard top here, we do have her equipped with the FLIR. Um, so night vision and thermal imaging as well as the Razor uh, LED light bar and as well as open array from Garmin Marine. And we painted those accents black to kind of accent what we've done on the exterior with the bootstripe, um, and as well as the, the subtle pinstriping on the engines uh, across the back. Moving here, we do have storage underneath the lounge. 
So we've got our bow filler for our forward and as well as some uh, console covers and as well as the standard dive ladder. Just behind me here, we have glove box storage. Um, those are lit. Those are also insulated. So you could choose them, use this cooler box or just storage for everybody's stuff for your uh, passengers. Uh, we have USB chargers, both port and starboard. Conveniently speakers for all the different zones that you'll be sitting in. We have the pop-up uh, lanterns, both port and starboard. Cup holders everywhere, rod holder cup holders, additional rod holders um, across the bow for your fishing. Uh, nice little shelf here. Well, I like to throw my uh, dock lines there, and my cell phone as I'm, as I'm moving throughout the boat. We have our bow table controls. So our up down buttons there. Um, and that's on this uh, Aztec deck here. So this pops out, converts to a bow filler, which you saw the cushion, as well as a, a nice convenient table. I love to showcase the width of this 400. Um, tons of room, great for entertaining. Uh, I feel like you can truly overload this boat and you don't really feel like you've got a lot of people. Um, two forward lounges kind of cut into the gunnel there. So nice high backgrounds, um, very convenient uh, height and as well as easy access to our grab rails. We do have storage under the bow here as well. So a great spot for those additional life jackets, big bulky items that you don't use as often. Uh, the amount of storage in the bow of this boat is phenomenal in my opinion. Um, you have insulated cooler boxes, port and starboard and as well as access to your anchor road through the center, but great dry storage throughout. Those are all gas assisted shocks, clean fiberglass edges underneath um, with gaskets to hold in that uh, cold if you so choose to use them as cooler boxes. Uh, standard windless system in the front with freshwater wash down. And we have a tool rack for our windless um, uh, tool just in case we need that, our winch tool. Uh, foot pedals up and down, both port and starboard, and as well as helm controls um, in the back. She is patented with our bow eye camera, so the captain does uh, able to see that windless system without having assistance. And you'll see on the starboard side as well, we had the bow table controls over there. Well, we have our jail, our jail and our fusion audio system um, controls here. So our guests up here can uh, control their zone uh, appropriately. Alrighty, let's take a look down below. You'll see our head door swings fully flush with our exterior uh, console. Down below, convenient grab hands as you come down. I love to point out the synthetic wood floors. Uh, these are easy to wipe down, coming in wet with bathing suits, going to the bathroom, going to the head, no big deal. Um, those easily wipe. You have the light colored interior, and you'll see I've got it set up in the bench seat setup. Nice natural light. You'll see I've got the blinds down below behind me if you choose to sleep, as well as open on the port side. Um, here to show that natural light. There are port windows um, for open air if you want that, both sides. Um, we have the filler that drops in here. Smart TV as well as cabin speakers for your music upstairs. You can choose that off or on. We've got reading lights there as well. We've got a rod rack over here, which it's got some tackle storage, tackle boxes, and as well as a convenient place for five rods sitting vertically with accent lights to uh, kind of illuminate those. So now I'll show you guys the head. Um, she is a wet head with vacuum flush head system. They've done a great job with a pedestal sink as well as removable shower head that goes up and down. Hot water shower, of course, with our generator. Uh, storage behind our, our vanity mirror and as well as storage underneath the Corian counter here. Now behind me, we'll see the galley. Great use of the contrast in different uh, stones between the Corian and as well as the backsplash there. Uh, again, high sink, electric cooktop from uh, Kenyon, microwave, and as well as another refrigerator down below for our cabin. And then we have storage behind all this, and as well as our systems access panel, uh, our main head unit for our fusion system for the entire vessel. I hope you guys enjoyed your tour of our Scout 400 LXF. Again, she's a 2024 model. If you'd like to come see her in person, maybe schedule a sea trial, feel free to call us at 843-747-1889. Thanks again for watching, and I'm Dotson Geist with Marine Max of Charleston.